Mo Salah, best football player in the world. The opinion of a lot of people, <laughs> including Jurgen Klopp, the yeah. manager. How does it sound? Well, it sounds great to me, but I think it's it's always opinion. I can't say I'm the best player in the world or something. It's, uh, some people will agree, some people not, but I just, uh, I'm just happy about uh, my performance at the moment. And uh, uh, most of the time I'm happy about my performance, but yeah, it's, I would always say it's opinion. Is it an ambition to be the best player in the world? Yeah, it's always an ambition to be the best like, player in the world. That was a quick answer. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have to lie. Yeah, it's always something, uh, something drives me to work really hard and just try to be the best version of myself. So I'm just trying to, to be always the best. So like you say, it's about opinion, of course it is. What about your opinion? How close are you? If you're, I bet you're your biggest critic. Yeah, most of the time, I, I, in my head, I'm the best player all the time. Maybe in my head, I'm always that, like that. I'm trying to, to, to have that confidence in my head. Uh, doesn't matter. Some people will agree with you. Some people not. But in, in my head, I'm always trying to be um, the best player. To be the best. Oh, I mean, yeah. Go on. Sorry. No, I just was saying. In my head, I'm always the best. So in my head, I always try to convince myself that I'm the best player. And what I was going to say to that is, to be at the level you're at now, do you have to think like that? Yeah, so you have to think like that. You have to believe that. If you don't believe it, it's not going to happen. If you don't believe it, like most of the time, you will never reach that level. So that's why I'm saying I'm always like convincing myself that I'm the best player in the world. In myself, I'm not saying that uh, because some people agree, some people not, but in, in my head, I'm always uh, convincing myself that I'm the best player in the world. So actually, on the train up, I was reading probably one of your first interviews that you did with Liverpool, and you were talking about the journey you would make every day from your hometown to Cairo, and you would think to yourself, I'm going to be something special, I'm going to be a big name. So did you have, was there anything specific to that? Did you think of yourself in a, you know, a certain coloured shirt or coming to Europe or was it just a, was it a bit more abstract? Well, I think when you were young, I can't say really I saw myself here, but it's a progress. Like when I first started playing in Egypt, I said, no, I'm, I want to play in Europe. I want to have a best career, Egyptian player, a best career could be from any Egyptian player. Then once I just get in Basel, I said, no, I want to do something really special. So. It's always in my head like, you are here now, what you want next, what you want next, what you want next. I'm always trying that to find something drive me like uh, hard and drive me to, to work really hard and achieve what I want. So even though you rescued it to an extent, did you find last season really hard? Well, yes, <laughs> absolutely. We have a lot of injury. Uh, some players were not in the best form. So I found it. I found it really hard. Also, like the push from the Anfield were not behind you most of the time because there, there was no fans. So yeah, last season was hard. What's that like then, having Anfield behind you? Because it's back now. Yeah, so give us like a proper push, like give us motivation all the time. Just to, if you feel like somehow in the game you are not, you're struggling, that that push can help you really to win the game. Like. Uh, and especially Anfield night is, is unbelievable. Good rest, a long rest, good pre-season, and just coming back after last season where it was difficult, not so much for you but the team, but coming back, I think I read it somewhere, someone within the club said, Mo's been like a man on a mission since the first day back. Yeah, I think, I think we had, this is the, the first time we had a proper holiday, a proper off. Yeah, it's, uh, I didn't have that, I think, since five years or something. Um, everybody was resting, the injury player came back, the team were really motivated because the last season what happened, we struggled a lot and we came third, which, which was great to, to be third after that injury. So we all motivated to, to win something. So I came back. I feel like uh, there's a lot of things to, to prove and I'm just trying my best. You said earlier, and I think it's, it's no surprise to anyone, you love the club. When did that start, you in Liverpool? Because I, I, again, on the train, I read something, you, you, even long before you came here, you would play as Liverpool yeah. at FIFA. I was. Jamie Carragher used to He was on the bench, yeah. <laughs> Good decision. <laughs> Cuts no. down on your own goals. <laughs> no, he was playing, okay. so he can't be angry. Uh, but also, you, obviously, you went there on a very big day for Liverpool with Chelsea, and that, I think, 
I think when Gave I was in Chelsea, as well. I think when I was in Chelsea, then I came here. Uh, Liverpool actually were fighting for the title at this time. The atmosphere was unbelievable. Then I said, like, wow, I want to play here one day. And that's why when I was in Rome and there is talk between the clubs and they were saying, like, I will go there. I would love to play there. The, the atmosphere is unbelievable. I want to come back to you to England to, to prove people wrong. And I didn't have my chance there, Chelsea. So I will go back for sure. So I came back. I also, when I was young, I was playing with Liverpool in PlayStation. So it's like there is kind of emotional between us or between me and the club. So I just like, I'm going to go. So with that in mind, then, the fact that it was a bit of a dream to come here, everything you've achieved, how much longer do you see yourself in the Red of Liverpool? You know, it's a you know, it's a topic at the moment. This not me, but this is not depend of me. But if you ask me, I would love to stay until last day of my football. But I can't say much about that. Not, not in my hand. Okay. Can I ask you what it does depend on then? <laughs> depend on what the club wants, not depend on me. Okay. But if you've loved it and you want to stay there for the rest of your career, it's not like you, you don't see another club, you don't see another country and think, I need to go there to complete my legacy, you feel like you can do everything you want to do as a player right here? At the moment, I can't see myself ever play against Liverpool. That would make me sad. And it's, it's hard, it's hard. I don't want to talk to, about it, but it's, it's, it would make me really sad if I, at the moment, I don't see myself play against Liverpool. But let's see what will happen in the future. Okay, should we move on? It's, it's a big game, isn't it, yeah. on Sunday? On the topic of Manchester United, before a ball was kicked this season, did you see them as title contenders and do you still? I think they are a tough team, they are very strong, um, they won last game also in a good way for them, um, so it's always between Liverpool and Manchester, it's going to be always like that. So they have a top team that will fight with the title for sure, we have a good team. We will fight for the title, so let's see. Let's see. Just, but for myself, I'm just seeing it's a three points game. We have to win it and just keep going.